Hi, my name is Zach. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to set up a tile map for a platformer using Unity 2019. First thing you're going to do is click New, start a new project, 2D. We're going to title this uh, Tile Set Tutorial and go ahead and click Create. Great. Once this loads up, what we're going to do is first thing go to the project settings we're going to make a new scene so go to the scenes folder create scene i'm going to call it level one great now that we've created our level we're going to go ahead and open it up now we're in level one we're going to go to the asset store and we're going to download this pixel art platformer asset it is free however these techniques will work with any other tile set as long as it's a side scrolling tile set like this Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click import and download this into our project. Once this is downloaded, we're gonna right click in our assets folder. We're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call it tile sets. Inside that folder, we're gonna right click again, create a new folder, call it platforms. And then what we're gonna do is actually go up uh, to the top here. Uh, I'll show you how this looks when you open it. Let's go to 2D. Uh, window 2D tile palette that creates this folder or this uh, uh, dialog here. We're going to drag this into the inspector so that we can have it side by side with our other tools. Once this is open, uh, type uh, click create new palette. We're going to type platformer. Click create. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. We want this to be in the root of the tile sets folder. Go ahead and select that folder there. Then we're going to go into uh, Kano's pixel art textures there's a TX tile set here open this in the inspector and then we're gonna actually gonna go to the sprite editor go down to this second drop down arrow click grid by cell size uh, set this to 32 by 32 these are the size of our pixels uh, or the size of our uh, images for our tile set uh, they are 32 by 32 pixels each so we know that's the size we want Make sure you click slice, you cannot forget this step, and then click apply. Once you have that, uh, these look diced up like this, you can go back to your tile palette and close the sprite editor, and then drag this TX tile set into your tile palette. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna dice all of those um, sprites into their own separate images. So we wanna save this in that second folder we created, the tile sets platforms folder, uh, and it's gonna save each one of those uh, tiles as their own image in this folder. Now they are in our tile palette uh, and they are ready to use. So now what we want to do is actually right click on our level and go to uh, 2D object tile map. This adds a grid um, and a tile map. So you're going to select this tile map, go ahead and head over to your scene folder and now you can start painting um, with your tile palette. So make sure you have the paintbrush clicked and now you can paint this across the map. Uh, and this is how you will create your level. So go ahead and uh, create any kind of level you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple platforms here. All right. Um, and I actually want these to be their own thing. Okay. And I want this to be one, one block higher, so we're going to do this. Cool. Now we have a simple level. Um, and I'm going to change the background of my main camera in the inspector to make it look more like a sky. Cool. Now it looks a little bit Mario-esque. That's okay. Uh, now what we want to do is actually add a collider to our tile map so that our character doesn't fall through it. So go ahead and click on your tile map, go to add component, and we're actually going to type collider here. And you'll see there's a lot of different options, but the one we actually want is the Tile Map 2D Collider. Um, what this will do is actually add a collision box for each one of our pieces of tile. Um, and you'll see that they line up exactly with the 
um, tile and that's fine um, I'm gonna deselect my tile palette here however I want my character to look like he's standing kind of on the grass a little bit um, so I'm actually gonna set the offset to 0 0.1 uh, negative um, so now you'll see the collision box is a little bit below the image so it'll look like the character is actually walking on the grass um, that's just kind of a preference thing uh, you don't have to do that now what we're going to do is actually drop a character in here um, but this tile map is ready to go and you can do this uh, and add other assets you'll see in this folder there is another tile map in here with kind of like decorations and stuff you can do this make sure you don't give it a collision box um, unless you want to uh, and that will just appear kind of behind the character or in front of the character depending on where you place it um, for now I'm just gonna drop a character in here that uh, I've already created this character will be in the um, description a link to this character will be in the description down below uh, so go ahead and use that um, if you want this character or you can make your own uh, I'll do a tutorial on how to create the character at a later date um, so I think I have it in extra assets here I'm just gonna go into my assets and bring in my character I'm gonna import this um, and this character is just really simple um, but it's made to use the uh, scarecrow in the extra images from this asset pack so you can just drop that in there once we get it up here so go into prefabs once you've imported it go ahead and put your character in the scene you'll see that he appears right here um, there's no image associated with him yet so what we want to do is actually go into assets Kano's pixel art texture and in the secondary set of images I'm going to select this scarecrow and drop it in the sprite box um, another piece of setup is for the ground collider um, box in this character controller that I've given you if you want to go to the tile map so you can actually just drag your tile map into this box and it will find the collider for you um, and then all you have to do is position the scarecrow wherever you want it uh, click play once you got your character in there you can move it around the map, jump up and down, and fall off the world. And there you go. That's how you create a 2D tile map in Unity. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like down below. If there's something you'd like to see me do a tutorial on in the future, please leave me a comment. Let me know you watched the video, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.